Hi, welcome to our Gentle Flow class today. We're going to be working with, uh, mainly with the hips and opening of the hips. So we're also specifically going to be working into the second chakra called Svadhisthana Chakra. And this area is uh, related to our creativity and that feeling when we have uh, that creativity just naturally flowing is when that uh, chakra or energy center is nice and balanced. Um, so when this area is not balanced, we sometimes can feel like we're in a rut, um, that we're not sort of able to move forward, um, which can be really frustrating. So nice to have this um, center that's governed by the element of water flowing nice and free. So that's our intention today. So lots of hip openers and getting that creativity uh, happening. I've got Nelly Dog in here today, so uh, she'll probably be making an appearance. We'll see how she goes. I might have to do this video again. We'll wait and see. Um, let's start by lying on our backs. So we're just going to start with a reclined pigeon. So coming down and slowly lowering, lowering down on your back. Coming down. And we'll put the left ankle up on the knee. Oh, she's a good girl. And grab behind the right thigh and draw the leg back towards the body. <laughs> and we're just going with that right leg. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up once more and just rotate that ankle around in one direction. Lie down now. And then back in the opposite direction. And let's release both feet back to the floor. Opposite side. Oh. We'll reach back behind the left thigh. Nice down with dog now. I'm going to sit down now. Uh -uh. Sit down. Sit. Now let's move that left leg. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up and hold. Yeah, and move that ankle around in one direction. Yeah, and back in the opposite direction. And back to center and release both feet down. So feet spaced hip width apart, ankles under shoulders, roll the shoulder blades under a little. Flatten the back into the floor as you raise the hips up for some bridge rolls, inhale. And exhale, roll the hips back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Draw the knees up to the chest and give your back a little rock from side to side. Hmm, back to centre. I want you to make your way up to table position, whether you roll on your side or roll yourself up. Excuse me, no. So I just want you yeah, with the right leg, inhale up, exhale down. We're going to turn around to face you, probably opposite side to you now, out to the side and down. Inhale up, down, exhale out, down, inhale up, down, out, and down. So now with the left side, let's inhale up, down, out, 
down. Inhale up. Down. Out. And down. Inhale up. Down. Out. And down. And make your way back to wide-legged child's pose. Raise your hand and make your way through to Downward Dog. Let's walk the feet up towards the hands. Stay here on a forward fold, wrap the hands around the elbows. Inhale up. And exhale. Back to Tadasana. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, swan dive. Breathing in. And take your right leg back. And drop the knee. I want you to bring the arms up, palms facing each other. Imagine like you're grabbing some energy here as we inhale. Make fist, bring it into the fist. And bring the arms down and shoot it back. If you wanted, you could raise that back knee at that point, but not necessary, and keep the knee down. Inhale up, and exhale. Body comes forward, once more. Exhale. And come back to plank position. While we're here in plank, drop the knees, uh, sorry, the heels to the left, center to the right, Center to the left, center to the right, center, drop the knees and lower all the way to the floor. Take your hands up to the sides and let the forehead rest. So we're going to do three copper rolls here. Inhale in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Make your way back to downward dog. Raise the right leg. And let's step all the way forward. Left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Half lift. Exhale. Step your left leg back. Drop the knee. Arms up, palms facing each other. Inhale, gather that prana. Exhale, bring it down and back. Inhale. Inhale. back to plank position. Drop the knees or you can lower down whichever way you choose. Lower all the way to the floor and come through the sphinx pose. Elbows up underneath the shoulders pushing the chest forward. Shimmy back a bit on the mat. Elbows out. We're going to make our way back to wide legged child's pose. Knees wide, big toes together. Raise the head, walk forward. I just want you to bring the feet together with the toes tucked and the balls of the big toes and the heels touching as we come up for a squat. Hands to prayer. You can make branches if you like. Yeah, let's release down. 
So we make our way back to downward dog. Raise your left leg. One step forward. Always feel free to drop to your knees in that step. Right leg, inhale all the way up. From back to Tadasana, hands to hips. Coming into standing pigeon. Breathe in. And coming down to your squat, shift your weight to the left leg. And raise the other leg up. Inhale. Either rest the hands on the knee and the heel, or you can take the fingers in prayer all the way down, just off the floor. Otherwise, just stay here with me. Just try to lean the body over that bent leg a little so you can feel that stretch through that right glute and hip area like you would in pigeon pose. Let's inhale. And exhale. Opposite side, breathe in. And down, shift weight. Left ankle up. And really take those sit bones back as you allow the body to fold over that bent leg and hold a nice steady gaze. bit of a shake. Let's make our way back to the front of the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Half. And release. Just step back to downward dog. Take your feet wide and walk your way back to um, a wide-legged squat. If that's not comfortable for you, just stay up here. Otherwise, bring yourself down. Yeah, and release. Make your way back to downward dog. Raise the right leg up. And step all the way forward. Coming up to a high lunge. If high lunge is difficult for you, come up with a back foot turned or even a nice short stand here. Bring the hands into prayer. I'm just going to step forward to a warrior three. I'm going to keep the hands in prayer. You can take lots of little steps up. You can might be here, or anywhere down to the torso and leg being pretty much parallel to the floor and hold. Step the foot back. So we come back to warrior or high lunge and through to warrior two. So we're going to start off in an easy side angle. Bring that upper arm down. See if you can reach those fingers to the top of the bent leg, the thigh. Keep opening that chest towards the ceiling. Now let's release. I'm going to come back to plank position. I'm going to make your way through your flow, whichever way suits you. Chaturanga, or you can drop the knees with me. You can do up dog or cobra. And coming back to down dog. Oh, let's raise the left leg. Stepping forward on your high lunge. Okay. 
hands to prayer. Preparing to come forward for warrior three, taking some little steps if you need. Step back, find a high lunge. Worry two. Come through to your easy side angle first. And bring that upper arm around to the back and the top of that thigh. Keep opening the chest to the ceiling. And release as we make our way back to plank position. Drop the knees to the left, uh, hip, sorry, heels to the left, center to the right, center to the left, center to the right, center, drop the knees back to table position. Let's come up onto the knees and turn around to face me. So extend your, that'll be your left leg out to the side. And raise up the right arm, inhale. Find a bit of length there through the side body. Oh, let's come down, make sure the wrist is in front of the shoulder as you open the chest, raise the upper leg and arm. Now you can just stay there, you might want to keep the foot on the floor, or you might want to grab the ankle and come into a sugar cane variation. Lots of options. And release. And let's come back up. Knees begin. Opposite side, inhale. Find your length. down, open, raise the limbs up and hold, nice and strong through the core. Bend the upper leg, open up. Release up. Bring that knee back in. All right, so we're coming into frog pose. So the table, we're going to take the knees out wide. Really important to keep the knee in line with the hip here and the ankle in line with the knee here. Inner ankles to the floor. Come onto the forearms. You might want to stack the fists and just really take that breath down into the hips. Raise the head and walk the knees back in. And we're coming back to a sitting position. So cross the ankles and come back over. We bring the left heel in towards the body and pick up the right leg for rock the baby. So either holding the ankle or the heel, sorry, and the, the knee. We'll cradle the leg and just gently rock back and forth. to me, breathing straight through that leg. If that's too much for you, you can grab the back of the leg like this, it's okay. And release down, and take the legs out to the side like me. Plant the left hand, bring the right arm across the body. As you lift up, push the hips towards me. 
And we'll roll in that three times before we hold it. Inhale up. Exhale. I'm coming up to hold this time. Feel the length through the side body, feel the stretch through that left uh, right hip, sorry. Yeah, let's come back down. All right. So let's swap sides. Bring the leg up. Grab it however it suits and we're rocking back and forth. Center, sole of the foot to me, breathe in and exhale. And release down, take both feet up to the one side, plant the right hand. And we're going to inhale, lift arm past the body, open out, we'll roll with that three times, exhale down, inhale up, exhale, inhale up and hold this time. socks or a jumper or something now I'm going to come down onto the floor um, for a couple of poses before we come into relaxation so when you are ready coming down to the lower floor I want you to bring the feet hip width apart Arms beside the body, roll the shoulder blades under. We're going to roll and bridge a few times before we come up and hold. So let's inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, roll the spine back down the floor. Inhale up. Exhale. And one more. Inhale up to hold. So you might just stay here like this. You might interlace the hands under the body and bring the shoulder blades a little close together. Or you might have the space to bring the heel of the hand so all the fingers and thumbs are not under the body. Underneath the hips and hold here. Breathe in, feel the belly rise. Breathe out, feel it fall. Release, roll the back down to the floor, arms out wide, feet as wide as the mat, drop both knees to the right hand side and just hold. If it suits you, bring the right foot to the top of the left knee and draw that down. Center, inhale, exhale with the opposite side. If you like, lift foot on top of the right knee. Center, draw the knees to the chest and just rocking the back from side to side. Mm. 
And back to centre. And make your way into Shavasana. If you want to place something under the knees, feel free. Maybe a blanket. Feet wide, arms away from the body, palms facing up. Just allowing the body to really settle in to the support of the floor of your props. Just really release any expression you might have on the face. Let the jaw soften, the eyes and mouth closed. All the skin in the face just softening, releasing. You let the full weight of your body release into the floor, you're not holding any muscles. Feeling the rhythm or the movement in the body with the rhythm of the breath. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, it falls. Feel the breath, breath like the waves of the ocean. So I want you to make that Ujjayi sound, that ocean breathing sound. As you breathe in, imagine the waves coming into the shore. Pausing for a moment. And as you exhale, they're rolling back out. Keep breathing with that image with that sound. As you bring your awareness back to the body, sparking some movement back into the fingers and toes. Maybe moving the head gently from side to side. center. Moving on to your right side and slowly picking yourself up into a sitting position. If you wish you can join me for three mantra ohms. Oh, you're welcome just to listen. Everyone hands in prayer and thumbs at the heart center. Let's breathe in. the eyebrow center and repeat after me and namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you again next week.